salespeople in the room or not? So a scientific exercise has been proven. And uh, so stretch your arms out like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to bring your uh, hands into a clap. Like this. And then you're going to cross your thumbs. All right, now how many of you have your right thumb over your left thumb? Let's just let me see. Okay, we're in good shape here. If your right thumb is, this is scientifically true, if your right thumb is over on top, that means you're a natural born salesperson. You just need a little bit of skill, and you're probably already hugely successful, right? How many of you have your left thumb over? Okay. <laughs> It's going to be hard. Okay, let me just be easy on you and just say that uh, it usually doesn't work out. Uh, but we're going to try, okay? And, and we got some video so we know who you are. And, and uh, you know, I'm going to give you some private counseling and get on the trades and everything. Ian, Ian, you're, you're killing me. All right. There's something else that I want you to notice here. And by the way, that's my fault. <laughs> I'm going to say so. And you're going to say so, right? Okay. All right, now, all the right thumb people don't agree. <laughs> but they want to believe that. All right, so here's what I want you to do. If your right thumb was on top, switch that. Your left thumb was on top. Everybody switch it. Put the other thumb on top. It doesn't work. It doesn't work, does it? It doesn't work, does it? But guess what? The other thumb people, that's very natural to them. Very natural to them. And your thumb, the way you do it is very natural to you, very unnatural to them. So I want you to remember that when I say something or one of the other speakers says something that, you know, that's kind of uncomfortable. It may just be uncomfortable because you're not used to it. Make sense? Okay, you guys are been a good sport, so have a seat.